Hello Libra, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of May 17th through the 21st, 2021. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off all today. I'm doing express readings. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Libra? Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the visions card reversed here. So this makes me feel like somebody is getting visions about things that's going on. I do feel like outside of a, a situation or a relationship, okay? I do feel like somebody is not listening to these visions, not listening to these messages that are coming to them, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the Atlantis card reversed here. So this makes me feel like whatever happened here it developed very quickly, okay? Or if it didn't happen, it's getting ready to happen if this reading is for you, okay? All right, yes. Somebody's getting all kinds of messages, okay? I do feel like somebody's getting messages throughout the day. I do feel like somebody's getting messages in their dreams. I feel like somebody is not listening to what is being said to them, okay? I don't want to hear it. That's not right. They wouldn't do this, okay? That wouldn't happen. That can't happen. Okay. Just make me feel like it is two cards. All right. So we got the falling in love card here. So this makes me feel like somebody is deep in love with someone. Okay. You're in love with someone. They're in love with you. But I do feel like you're getting red flags. I do feel like throughout the day. But I also feel like you're getting signals and messages and warnings in your dreams, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. So it looks like somebody's dealing with a manipulator, okay? I do feel like you see the subtle things, but I feel like, of course, you don't want to see this. It's not a big deal, okay? So I do feel like you're going to keep brushing it under the rug, and it's just going to become a huge pile under the rug, okay? Huge pile. All right, so we got the sisterhood card here. So I do feel like you got family members, friends, church members, school members, you know, just people, you know, trying to protect you from this situation, okay? Um, they trying to point out these signs that you don't want to hear. I do feel like some of you may be psychic, um, clairvoyant, something, anything like that as well. And you don't want to listen to yourself either. And I do feel like it's because of the amount of love that you have for this person. And you can see that this person loves you as well. So it's like the manipulating thing that they're doing is not that bad. At least not yet. Okay. So we got the sacrifice card reversed. Yeah. Somebody is not ready or willing to give this person up. Okay, which I can understand, you know, when you really love somebody, that feeling is not easy to come by and somebody is really trying to hold on to this thing. Okay, but this manipulator, this person is just going to get stronger. And I feel like if you're going to stick around, you might want to nip that in the butt, call that person out every time they doing some manipulative move. Okay, so we got the unseen card here. So this makes me feel like this person is definitely being a little sneaky, okay? And then I just saw a hook going out somewhere else. This makes me feel like somebody may be dealing with an ex, or this could be an ex that you're dealing with and you're really not ready to let go of them, okay? But I do feel like somebody's trying to sneak around, and I do feel like I just don't want anybody in my business or to know what I'm doing, okay? Yeah, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.